Kia ora, what's up, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. I'm going to talk about why the original Xbox can run the Nintendo 64 emulator at around about 100% speed and the Xbox One S, X and S cannot. Let's get into this. The original Xbox could run Nintendo 64 games at full speed because it was a powerful PC-like machine for its time. Built on Times86 architecture, making it easier to develop high-level emulators or HLE that translates N64 cores to Xbox cores. The Xbox One struggles with the Nintendo 64 emulator because of its weaker Jaguar CPU, while Times86 lacks the raw power of the specific hardware needed for complex emulation, often requiring less efficient methods or hitting performance walls. So the original Xbox, the Generation 1, its strengths for emulation, it has a stronger CPU. The original Xbox used a modified Pentium 3 processor times 86, which while not super powerful by today's standards, was significantly more capable than a Nintendo 64's MIPS processor. Again, the original Xbox has high level emulation. Developers could write code to translate N64 instructions into native Xbox instructions, bypassing some hardware complexities, allowing for smooth performance. The Xbox One's weakness for Nintendo 64 emulators, it has a weak CPU. So the Xbox One's AMD Jaguar CPU was notoriously underpowered, making it difficult to run demanding emulation even for older systems like the Nintendo 64 which require significant translation. Different architecture, while both are using the X86, the N64 uses a completely different instruction set which is called MIPS and the Xbox One uses API. So to sum it up, the original Xbox had the raw processing power and API flexibility to handle N64 emulation well with HLE, while the Xbox One's weaker CPU and different internal structure made it struggle despite being a modern console. If you'd like to run the N64 emulator at 100% speed on a modern Xbox, you have two choices. That is the Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X and that is in dev mode or developer mode. I have videos on how to set this all up and of course developer mode is now free. That's it for this video. If you've learned something today, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.